to our other top story. We told you about Joe Cassio's effort to get a liquor license in September. Today, the public had a chance to respond. Cassio is staking his family's reputation on the project. He wants to open a new nightclub at 16th and Jones. The building is next door to the Kimball Lofts condominiums. Some people who live there say, not in my neighborhood. KMTV Action 3 News reporter Jake Wasikowski is live to explain tonight. Jake. Jen and Craig, Cassio had to close the bar about seven years ago because he became ill. Now, recently, his first try to get another liquor license was denied. That happened about 10 months ago. He says they've made changes, but the neighbors say nothing has changed, and the council felt the same way. A downtown neighborhood fight pits a developed residential area against a business owner who'd like to reopen a bar, which has been closed for seven years because that owner, Joe Cassio, part of the Cassio Steakhouse family, became ill with leukemia. He now wants to open Funky Town, a nightclub with 70s and 80s music for an older crowd at the building he's owned for decades near 16th and Jones, against the wishes of 35 residents at the Kimball Lofts next door. It's an area with a downtown overlie that he is working within it is not a neighborhood. It is part of an entertainment district. Residents of the Kimball Lofts high priced condos say their plan hasn't changed since they were denied a license about 10 months ago when Cassio's son advertised for go go dancers. They say the block has progressed from 25% residential to 75% residential and a nightclub wouldn't fit. The city council voted five to one to deny the liquor license. Relieved. Relieved. Um, it was the same request that they'd made within the last year for the same business plan in the same location with the same operator. Cassio said they would make a number of compromises not to bother residents and that he's made a $1 million investment in the property. Ultimately, the council felt nothing had changed since the last liquor license application. It's easy to say yes um, when somebody wants to open a new business and it takes some thought and, and some careful consideration to, to really look behind the the idea and really question whether or not it's the best idea for the city. And the decision will automatically be appealed to the Nebraska Liquor Control Commission. Hecker says that they'd like to meet and work with Casio again to come up with a compromise. Reporting live outside City Hall in downtown Omaha, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. Just